Background music helps settle a vibe for your game, whether it's a hangout game or an intense fighting game. In this video, you'll learn how to add a playlist of songs to your game, and additionally, a UI mute button. Let's dive in and make your game sound awesome. First of all, create a folder in the workspace, rename it to music, and fill it with songs of your choice, which you can find in the toolbox. Then, create a script in that folder and copy my code. First, we create a variable for the folder. Right after that, we start a while true loop, which means everything inside this block will run forever. So, this line of code searches through all the objects in the folder one by one, and this one makes sure it's a sound. If so, the script will play it and wait until it ends, so the loop can continue and play the next song. And we're done. If you want to make the player be able to mute the music with a button though, let me show you how you can do it. First, insert a sound group into the folder. This object allows to control volume of every sound in a group. Look for a sound group property of every song in the folder, click it, and select the inserted sound group in the explorer. When you're done, head to start a GUI and insert a screen GUI followed by a text button. Of course you can style it however you want. Then insert a local script into it and copy my code again. We create variables for the button and the sound group. Additionally, we create this variable to help our function determine if sound is muted or not. Clicking the button marks the beginning of the function, which first checks if the sound is muted. If not, the variable will switch to true and set the sound group volume to zero. If sound is already muted though, it will switch the variable to false and set the volume to 0.5. And that's all. Two really simple scripts that work like a charm. Thank you all for watching and see you soon again.